So we come back to Sophistic Mystic Channel, trying to bring you some news. We start with, with Bismillah ar Rahim, Madhya Sultan Aulia, and today, as many people requested on like small pocket talismans I have two for you um, for like the one is holistic it's based on the Bismillah al rahim and the second one is like protective from the dark beings the shayateen outside um, for this, maybe, uh, either I say it before or later, this protection from shayatin is a big topic, no? Because maybe, maybe pe many people will think that all their problems are connected to this, which is maybe a part, a big, can be a big, big part. Um, but doesn't have to as they will work on different levels they programmed you so it's in your subconsciousness already they are like having all the media and stuff you go through the street you see an advertising and then they are still working yeah so this you will not be able to stop now. The way they made your thoughts already work and so on. Yeah, but at least uh, maybe it can be for some people who are with big attacks, uh, good relief. But yeah, try to see it in a holistic way now. So, something else to say. Make them very small. You can do it on paper, especially when you are like a beginner. I would uh, rather propose that you make it on papers because then you can look before you go to the more advanced and also more expensive materials like parchment or maybe silver plates, whatever. No. So paper is fine. You can have a look on auspicious hours, you don't have to. I will talk on this maybe in other videos, yeah. But for now, there are squares. Let's see how we do this. I have here this in my notebook. First of all, the size. I will make another video on this size. Where is the camera? I just show it because uh, it went wrong for me, I made a mistake, so it's uh, basically a wrong talisman, ah, can I focus this? Yeah, it doesn't matter, okay, anyway, you, it's wrong, <laughs> so, but I just show it for the size, make it as small, tiny as possible, if you could, yeah, if you want to have it in a pocket, no? for the things on the wall, of course, it's also something else to have it big. Yeah. So, for example, in such a one, such a pocket, you can fit like 50 or maybe more even of them. No? Then you can think of writing something in the front and on the back, which has not happened here. So, it's for the size, if you could, it would be maybe even better to make it like microscopic. Microchips are working like this now, so you want to have not a big bag or a, I don't know, walking around with this full of big writings and talismans. You want to have it small, no? So it's easy also. Yeah. So the first 
Okay, so here we have the square on the side of the cut. Welcome back on the other side. Um, it's for Bismillah ar rahim and it, they add up to, like, we can close it here, doesn't matter. And how to do it. Of course, as I, maybe I said it already, otherwise I repeat it. You can do it in an auspicious hour. I will do another video on those in the future, but otherwise you can do it at any time if you are a beginner. So, this is for Bismillah ar rahim so it adds up to 7, 8, 6, which is... Uh, in the Arabic letters and uh, at least in the Shams al-Marif Shaykh Yubuni explicitly says that those numbers have like they are the Indian numbers they are called and those are the Arabic numbers which are now used in Europe the Indian numbers are now used in the Arab world and Shaykh Yubuni says explicitly that the Indian numbers from India have the more like baraka blessings power whatever no so here we have the square especially for those people who are practicing the bismillah ar rahim like sometimes during the day it will resonate no uh, here are the European numbers and here are the Arabic numbers yeah I just say it like this but here are the Arabic numbers and here are the Indian numbers. So excuse me if I mix it up because nowadays we could call this Arabic. Yeah. So just to, for you to follow, maybe I mix it up. Sorry. Um, yeah. So you can take a little piece like this, what I showed you on the paper, or you start on the paper like this on the edge, and then you just cut it later on now. Ah, now you look, let's see, it could see. So I made a mistake here in the middle, so I just have to throw it. Um, yeah. So what's important here, I think, this is basically a fire 3x3, three three, because it starts in the top. It starts with this. So it's a fire element, no? And if you write it, you first make the square a little bit so that it may fit. And then the first number you write here in the circles, I made this is the first now. Then you write this one, then you write the second one, which is this one. Then you write the third one, fourth, uh, fifth, six, seven, eight, and nine, and it's finished. And you're done, basically. You can charge it. I mean, how to charge it? I think it's good to charge them, no? So you would read 700, 786 times Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim uh, Read on it. Look on it, maybe. Blow on it. But even if you are, like, just putting it in your pocket and, uncon like, subconscious or with the intention to read it, to charge it, no, you have the intention, okay, now I make the 786 with the intention to charge it, um, then it will be charged, yeah? and also if you carry it in the pocket, of course you can multiply it, like you can do it two times, seven, eight, six, or hundred times, seven, eight, so it will basically multiply, no? It resonates, so, yeah, for those who don't maybe know how it's said, so I write approximately this Him. There are many ways to write it in the on the European transcription, but this is one way. <laughs> yeah, maybe without this H, yeah, that's too much. 
So now we come to the next one. It will be the Ayatul Kursi. So welcome back. Next one, Ayatul Kursi. Um, it's my, like the most pow powerful verse for those who don't know from the Quran, which like can burn the negative entities. And I was actually searching for this long time. Once in a shop I found someone who wanted to sell it to me, like from Iranian. I made a photo, but now reflecting on it, I don't think that it was the Ayatul Kursi square. Well, maybe, but it didn't add up to 13,671. So this is the abject value of Ayatul Kursi. And we have to fit it into the square somehow. So maybe I will make another video on how to construct those squares on your own. But basically here are some mathematics I did, very simple. I saw another video, it was quite complicated. Like with many alpha plus omega square, then the mm, uh -huh, it's S. It's just a joke. Uh, yeah, you can use it if you are a professional mathematician, but I want to make a video like for dummies, no? Just with uh, simple logics. Yeah. And here you have the Ayatul Kursi square to come to the point. Very easy. I, here I made a mistake, so forget it. And here again I wrote the same. I made the same with as the Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim It will start in the fire element. So you first write this number, then the second one is this one, the third one, four, five, I didn't make, oh, I can write here five, in a, six, seven, eight, nine. It's basically the same Chronology as the Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Yeah, maybe I'll write it again in the Arabic letters here. For those who want to copy. So four, five, five. Five also, for those who like, they can write it as a heart. <laughs> Three. There are many ways, uh, some ways to write it. For example, six can be written like this or this, and five is this uh, or this. Yeah. So yeah, one, two, four, five, five, four, two, three, four, five, 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 four. Five, five, six, four, five, five, uh, seven, eight, nine. Ah, that's wrong. Yeah, see, you have to concentrate really good. It's six. Yeah. Right, you missed something, no? Oh yeah, you see, somehow I missed this one. Ah, so this was wrong. But it's just for educational purpose, so. Six, zero. But before you would write this one. Four, five, five, nine. Then you write this, four, five, six, zero. And then four, Five, six, one. So then you have the Arabic. And of course, this one to charge, it is uh, more complicated, maybe, let's say. Not an easy formula. It's quite a long one. It's Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa ilahukum ilahum wa hidun la ilaha ilaha wa rahman ar-Rahim. Allahu la ilaha ilaha wa al-hayu al-qayyum la tahudu sinatu wa lanum lahum afisma wa atma ma fil-ard. 
من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيدي وما خلفه ولا يحيطون بشيء من علم إلا بما شاء وسيا كرسي السماوات والأرض ولا يعود هفتهما وهو العلي العظيم So yeah, for those who want to read it, maybe you can, there will be transcriptions the throne first, no? You can look it up in the internet and then you can read it 13,671 uh, times. It will be perfect, but yeah, it's a big job, no? So, either you make someone do it, or you just were during the days, like seven times a day, you can charge it. Anyhow, I think that the numbers, even uncharged, will have a... Um, effect, yeah. But, yeah. I would really at least do it one time and then put it on it. So now I did it one time, maybe it's charged. <laughs> I didn't make it with the intention for this one, so I just did it for the video. And... Oh, these are long videos now. I will have to make it short. I have to make one one. Every <laughs> square is one video. So... You read it once, you and also intention is important. You make this with the intention of encoding the throne verse or the Ayatul Kursi, you know what's called in the Arabic. And then you have your little protection talisman, no? You put it in your pocket. Mm, in the leather bag or something. And you can wear it, you can try it. You can do it also in a bigger form and put it on a wall. Yeah, I think that's for now. So, I hope you like it. If so, then subscribe, comment. <laughs> it can help me a lot. Um, and have a blessed day, have a blessed work um, these are good basic things for everyone to have like the video and see you next time peace and blessings and arms sophistic mystic channel greeting you all